Hey everyone! So today I figure we could do a little decorating vlog. So we got a new mattress from Birch Living and this video is sponsored by Birch Living so thank you Birch Living for sponsoring this video. Uh, but we got a new mattress so I figured today we could decorate the mattress and do a little summerween decorating or Halloween and summer decorating since we're getting into the hottest days of summer and need a little bit of a, I'm always looking for that little bit of a any sort of reminder fall is coming halloween is coming anything at all i need it but also just to kind of feel all the halloween vibes that i know we've been we've been seeing it out there we're feeling it but the the season isn't cooperating quite yet so i figured why not embrace it let's do a summerween bedroom decorating video so that's what we're doing today let's put some halloween bedding on which i don't think i've shown on here i did a video for uh spooky family members or uh, people who are members of the jay the libra youtube channel um i did a little bedroom decorating last year i believe i figured i'd do a little decorating vlog so instead of a voiceover we hang out we decorate uh you know put on our bedding and then do a little maybe put a couple little spooky things on the nightstands and have a little spooky sanctuary for uh the rest of summer and then i was kind of wanting to get a new set so we could also decorate the bedroom again uh for halloween like on you know in september or october or whatnot so so that's what we're doing today i just had to take a little seat for a second all right so i just mentioned that my husband and i got this new mattress from birch living this video is sponsored by birch living i'm so excited about this because i've talked about this as we've been out halloween decor hunting about sleep before and dreams and all those things if you know you know so my bed i feel like it's like this for a lot of us out there it's our sanctuary it's our space it's our happy place so I'm really excited about this mattress because if you haven't heard of Birch Living before, Birch is a premium mattress in a box company. So you get a mattress in a box delivered to your door. They make organic, non-toxic mattresses right here in America with just four materials sourced from nature. So they use organic latex, New Zealand wool, American steel springs, and organic cotton. Also, each Birch mattress comes with their Eco Rest pillows, which are made from recycled plastic bottles. Uh, they're breathable and they are better for the environment. I've had this mattress for about a week, so it's new to me. But it's so, first of all, I was very, very intrigued by the natural, organic, 100% non toxic bed. That to me stood out with Birch uh, since I hadn't really, I, I didn't know that mattresses were toxic. I, I And I've been sleeping on them my whole life. So I'm really excited now to have something that's that's more organic, non-toxic, environmentally friendly. So you know when you get something new and you you all of a sudden realize that like you don't know how you lived that way before or how uncomfortable the mattress was you were sleeping on or whatever it is that you're doing, you know what I mean? So I like, actually my husband and I both prefer a softer mattress. My last mattress was just, it was not soft enough. I thought we'd eventually break it in, but no, it went from like way too hard for me to like straight up just sinking into the bed. <laughs> there was no in between. So we've really been enjoying this mattress because we also got the pillow top. The pillow top plus the mattress, it's like sleeping on a cloud. It is so comfortable, so cushy and soft, um, but you can also get a firmer mattress. So you don't have to get the softer mattress, but if you're wondering if the mattress plus the pillow top is the good thing, the good combo is like, a soft sleepers dream come true and it's really easy because you can buy it online and have it delivered straight to your door you can bring it into your house it's all bundled up like in a box and then you take it out of the packaging and you lay it out and kind of forms i guess you could say um and it's 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 kind of a magical situation i'm not gonna lie and with your birch mattress you get a hundred night sleep trial along with a 10-year warranty so if you're nervous about ordering a mattress online and getting it delivered to your door, like you don't know if you're gonna like it or not, you get more than three months to try out your mattress. And if you don't like it, they will come pick it up from your house and you'll get a full refund. If you've been looking for a new mattress, definitely check out Birch. You can click the link down in the description box. I'll have a link right there. You can get $200 off your mattress plus two free pillows if you click the link down in the description box. So I'll have that down there. I'm so excited about this mattress. I don't know, it's the little things. Like you know you're a full-blown adult when you start geeking out about a mattress and a pillow top. You're like, oh my gosh, this pillow top. I can't wait to lay on it. <laughs> All right, 
Let me let me go get. I gotta go get these sheets. All right. So first we're gonna put this thing on this mattress cover thing situation on. Oh, good. This is so much easier with two people, but we're gonna make it work. Right, Eames? This part is done. Then we're gonna put on our spooky sheets and I really wanted this to be like full on Halloween, like in your face Halloween because it is so hot right now. It's literally like, what does it say out there? It says 95, but the heat index at like 105 right now. It is so hot. I normally like a dark decor, which we're kind of in this weird, I'll talk about it as I'm making the bed. Um, but either way, I wanted to show you these really cute sheets. Let me show you this one because the fitted sheet is a little bit, just like a little bit faded. But look at these Halloween sheets. They're so cute. They have little jack-o'-lantern skulls, bats, spider webs, candy corns. And I got these at Steinmart a couple years ago. If you've been Halloween decor hunting with me for a while, and you may have seen it when we went to Steinmart and found those. I should have grabbed another set because I, I didn't know they were gonna go out of business. Yeah, so now I don't know where to get my spooky sheets. Let me know in the comments what you're doing. Um, and I really wanted this to be Halloween. Like I wanted this to scream Halloween uh, because I, I normally like a dark decor all year round, which I, you may be confused by my bedroom. Really modern and whatever, which I have a lot of modern stuff in my home. It was one of those things where when we bought our house, about 10 years ago there wasn't like we we liked dark decor but first of all we didn't know if we were going to stay here for a very long time and second of all the options the options in the dark decor department hopefully you can still hear me over here were very there we go all right, I had to adjust it so you could actually see what I'm doing. Options in like the dark furniture or dark decor department 10 years ago is was very, very different than it is now. Now, there's so much out there. We've really been wanting to redo a lot of our spaces because kind of what happened was we moved in, we didn't know if we were gonna stay here. And we're like, well, if we're not gonna stay here, right, I'm gonna go for the flat sheet and I'm gonna put it face down I learned that, that tip from one of y'all out there. So it took me until my 30s basically to learn that you put the fit, that you put the flat sheet facing down so when you turn it back, you see all the print. Yeah, pretty much had no idea. So anyways, one of the reasons is we couldn't find a lot of dark decor at the time or dark furniture. It was, um, they had some stuff, but it wasn't really our style of dark that we like. So we kind of just went the opposite direction and went with the modern feel since, especially since we didn't know if we were gonna be staying here. And so because we live in the suburbs in Kansas, as you can imagine, I don't know that there's a big market for people who just like deck out their houses and Gothic stuff, you know? Kind of went more the modern route because we were like, well, our dream is to buy like an older Victorian or like Gothic, revival type of home so we'll just have less to move but second of all we're like we don't know if we could even sell our house if it's all you know painted black and all that all right, so now i'm going to put on this this guy this this is our regular comforter because i'm going to put the quilt over top more as like a decoration because with dogs they will destroy that quilt so i'm just going to have it on during the day and then at night when we go to sleep, I'm going to take it off just so the dogs, because the dogs aren't really on the comforter during the day. Um, all right. So anyways, long story longer, we were planning on making some moves in 2020. And as you know, 2020 was kind of a disaster and uh, changed everything. Sorry if this is like the rambliest ramble of all time, but you know me. So anyways, long story longer, we're not moving, right sis? We're not moving. First I need to fold this down. I'll just do it like this. 
just folding down this piece. But long story longer, we're not moving <laughs> because of everything kind of going on at the moment. Lots of new stuff happening. We've got a lot going on, you know, with uh, HO7S and um, shadow figures and stuff. So I'm actually going to be, I think we're going to be getting some new furniture in here. We're just going to go for it. We're not going to worry about it. So we're going to be making some changes. we got a new mattress and now I think we're going to get a new bed. I want to paint in here. We've been collecting some wall decor stuff. We're going to be doing this together basically, just collecting some stuff and um, redecorating in here. I also want to do my office and yeah, I think we're just going to go for it. Why not? So I hope you guys are excited. So I don't know why I just went on a whole diatribe about it, but while we're decorating, I figured I'd talk, oh, I didn't put the quilt on. Also, I figured I'd do some videos around it, you know, where we hang out and maybe pick out some furniture. And I always love your opinion on stuff. So I figured we that's going to be the process. Maybe we'll do some stuff like this video where we just hang out and decorate, maybe? I don't know. So just let me know in the comments if you like this style of video. Just hanging out and decorating. Also, this quilt, let me point this back down. Uh, I'm putting on this quilt. So this quilt I got from Lakeside Collection last year, I think, or was it two? I think it was last year. Or maybe it was two years ago. I don't know. No. Um, but this is Lakeside Collection. They're Nevermore sets. And I love this. It is more, I will say this, if you've been looking into this and you're wanting to know the quality. Hold on, Mings. I will say that this is more, I think more decorative. It's a little bit stiff. Am I, is this on the right way? Yeah. And um, my friend who has this one said that uh, when she went to wash it, it didn't wash up very well. So if you had a different experience, let me know in the comments, but that's why I'm using it more for decoration. So I don't have to wash it. Um, so my dogs aren't on the bed, like means will stay there. You, you can tell like she, you'll see throughout this video, she won't come down on the bed and Bailey, he's getting so old. He doesn't jump on the bed either. So we're kind of, let me pull this down. I like putting my duvet cover under it anyways, cause it gives it more of like a, you know what I mean? Like it kind of fluffs it up a little bit. I like it to look nice and plush, you know? All right, I'm gonna take all of this and kind of just tuck it back. Pull more of this over so it covers all that. And then just kind of tuck it in, tuck it under. Like that. Let's tuck all the rest of this back. You got a good spot there? Right, now we're going to put on some pillows, so we'll start here, um, the matching pillow. And then I'm going to put one more. I like to do like a padded pillow. Um, I'm going to put this here first. This is like a really kind of stiff, fluffy pillow. Put the sham up like the fancy pillow. And right now it means his bed is kind of in the way. So, But it sits up like that because it has that support behind it, where otherwise I feel like it can kind of you know, lean back or sag down if there's not a really supportive pillow behind it. So it just kind of makes it sit up for my fluffier pillow. And then the sham. All right, now we're going to do some throw pillows. It means it's going to be really mad. I gathered a bunch of throw pillows here. And let's see. Um, I brought them up from the basement. I've got a bunch. All these, we're just filling the whole bed up because I don't know what I want to do yet. So I, I like to mix prints and textures. So I like things like these, which spoiler alert, I got these at, at home this year, these spider pillows. Um, probably see these in a haul here coming up, but I kind of was wanting to use them on the bed. And then I have like these, which have more of a texture 
It's like a furry pillow from, uh, I got these from Michael's a couple years ago. This one isn't Halloween, this is from Ikea, but sometimes throwing in different patterns that can go with Halloween pillows. I like doing that, like, you know, placing this kind of stuff together or like this, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so this pillow I got from Ross a couple years ago. This one's from, I've seen this one this year again at Home Goods. This is from Home Goods a couple years ago or last year, I can't remember. Um, anyways, what I think I'm gonna do, I definitely wanna use those spider pillows. So let's throw those on right here. There's that. And then I think I'm gonna do these. Maybe put the furry ones next to it like that. Like so, maybe, or should I? Flip them. Let's see. Like that. Like that. And then I think in the center we could do a couple different things. We could do. Oh, wait, I forgot to put this one over here. Okay. So we could do this. Sorry, Neens. We're burying her down into her hobbit hole. We can do a pattern like this. Let me look. How's it look? Um, this, which is just a black pillow. Um, it's from Killstar, I believe, which are kind of like just the plain black. Then we can do a couple of different things from there. Because I want to put some orange in there for Halloween. So we could do this guy this is from walmart this guy we could do this guy let me see that's from target dollar spot last year that's kind of cute but it's a little neon which i don't mind i was just hoping to match more of the orange in the comforter there's that that's another Target dollar spot find. I mean, those are cute. I just feel like it's kind of throwing it off because of this orange right here. So let's try. This is full on Halloween. So I'm almost thinking this might be it. Just like a little cute. I love that. Just a little cute something. Just a little something. The more I'm seeing it, the more I think it needs like a lighter pillow of some sort. Or maybe that. I don't know, tell me how it looks. Help. This pill came with this set. So maybe just for the sake of it, I'll use this. Maybe that's what we'll do. I feel like some people are on the other end screaming, black, do the black. Okay, we made our decisions. We're moving on to the side tables. I saw this idea on the Facebook group and I know all I do is talk about the Facebook group, but hear me out. Uh, I got this bust, tuxedo bust from Bath and Body Works this year. If you don't belong to the Facebook group yet, I'll link it in the description box for you. Anyways, somebody had taken this, this tuxedo bust from Bath and Body Works that they're selling this year. And I ended up snagging one and they did this. Let me show you. They took a jack-o'-lantern and they put it on, the, it's supposed to be a three wick candle holder, by the way, if you haven't seen this guy. Uh, but you put the jack-o'-lantern head on and it becomes a whole kind of headless horseman situation. And I'm obsessed with this idea. So if it's your idea out there, thank you for the inspiration because I love everything about this idea. You can light it up. And this jack-o'-lantern head, I believe is from Trick or Treat Studios. And it almost just needs to be this and that's it and then i'll just move the clock back here the other side i was thinking we should do the let's see i have the matching bust i literally just got this guy i have the witchy bust version of the tuxedo and i figured you can't put jack-o'-lantern on this one because it's angled i figured i just put the pumpkin carving candle in there and just call it a day. Just have it be a little bit matchy. 
Um, but because this doesn't have the jack-o'-lantern, I'm almost thinking put something taller behind it because the other side is taller. So maybe I was thinking like this. Oh, possibly like that. I don't know if I even like that. Actually, I think I do like that with the branchy tree. Okay, I think I like that. Okay, um, this one I think is gonna be too big. You know, yeah. Thinking just like a little skull there. I could also do, to even it out with the other side, with the orange, I could also do a little pumpkin, like a little jack-o'-lantern like that. Or, oh my gosh, I kind of like that though. Or I could do this little baby jack-o'-lantern that all right so for the bottom shelf area i thought maybe just a little fun uh jack-o'-lantern i got this from uh five below last year with some twinkling lights in there to help it glow let's see i put in red and yellow twinkling lights let's move that back it's kind of a small little area let's move it forward a little bit okay other side and then Put it down here and it's the perfect little treat that is it that's the final final shebang I went ahead and added some branchy trees by the way back here just to even it out between the two sides just so the height at least matches so this is the final look of the summer ween bedroom i'm so excited it already feels so much better in here i just feel like finally my bedroom is matching my soul at this point because obviously the weather isn't isn't getting with the program right now. <laughs> I mean, it is summer, but still. Um, anyway, so this is kind of the final. This is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed decorating with me. If you like these types of decorating vlogs where we just kind of hang out and chill and decorate, let me know down in the comments because I'll definitely do more of these. I traditionally do more of a voiceover, which I'll... I'll keep doing voiceover decorating videos as well, uh, but I just thought it'd be kind of cool to hang out, chill, uh, kind of talk our way through and kind of decorate together, make some decisions. You guys were a lot of help. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Um, also, let me know what little things are you starting to decorate? I mean, I mean, I know a lot of us decorate darker all year round around here or we have little areas of our home, but I also know there's some of us out there who wait to like get out the jack-o'-lanterns or certain things that say happy Halloween and whatnot. I typically wait to decorate for real, for real, decorate for my real themes for Halloween until, until the weather gets a little bit, like I like decorating with the windows open and some spooky music on and I got the pumpkin smells going. I like to have it like I like to feel like it's actual fall and Halloween. I'm like I like that whole experience. So sometimes it ends up being a little later than I want to be decorated. But if you're like that also, let me know in the comments. Anyways, that is it. I'm now just jabbing my jaws. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.